Tim Ferriss sat down and did an interview with a guy whose name I had never heard before in anything related to Marvel, David Mizell. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Mizell, Mizell. I'm just going to say Maisel. Maisel, that sounds about, that sounds better. Let's do Maisel. Mm -hmm. So David Mm -hmm. Maisel, uh, I'd never heard his name before and and connected to anything Marvel, MCU, anything like that. When this guy is the OG, this is the reason we have the MCU, and he has done no publicity, no record. He's done nothing until now. Like this is his like coming out party to the world to to kind of like not rewrite history, but to kind of say, hey, I got a story too about all of this stuff. He's not he's not bad mouthing people. In fact, he's praising all the things that they've been doing. Says says things like he's he's Kevin Feige's biggest fan, but this is the guy that invented the MCU. That so really? he yeah. So it's a great it's it's a fascinating interview. I would say Eddie, don't start at the forty minute mark. Wa- listen to the whole thing after the four minutes of ads at the front. I always skip through those, but he he charts his his journey as well as he so he. Um, he even worked for Disney for, for a little bit of a time before coming to Marvel, but he's the guy that convinced them, Hey, we need to stop like just licensing our characters to Sony and to, uh, Fox Fox. and Fox century. And we're getting nothing from that. We're good. They've got almost nothing from those deals for X-Men and for Spider-Man, um, making almost no money. They're like, we need to be investing and making our own films and even his own team didn't really believe in that much they said if you go find the money we'll back it so marvel didn't even back their own original films they had to go out and raise 500 million dollars to do and and this guy did it and he and it's an incredible story of doing that of um betting on iron man and john favreau and john favreau then bringing on um uh uh iron man oh, what's what's his name why can't i remember robert downey jr um, robert downey jr the whole thing was it's an incredible story and then he was the one that was like the and the reason we need to do this is to be able to we can basically create a one se- it's like one giant sequel after another after another but with different characters different stories they all build on each other it was this guy's idea and he has just remained silent this whole time when it's in record he ran <laughs> he ran the studio and he hired this person and he promoted Kevin Feige to the position he's in now it's insane story and i was just blown away he talks about deal making in hollywood and the logistics and all of these are really small wow. things that you just hear like actors on actors and producers and directors mm-hmm. waxing eloquently about the filmmaking process and about storytelling. He's like, he touches that a little bit. Mostly he's like, this is how it really got done. This is how we had to make it like the business side of it, the deal making. Yeah. The, the, the time that he, he pitched, he pitched to Disney inside of Disney. Hey, we should buy a Marvel years earlier. And they said no, and they had to pay a massive steep price when it started really yeah. taking off. Uh, but he was instrumental. He's the reason that Disney bought Marvel in the end. So it's an incredible thing, incredible story uh, uh, that I'm just like, y'all, if you care about Disney movies, if you care about Marvel and you're interested in filmmaking and even the business side especially if you're interested in like the business and the nuts and bolts how does this really get done not just ooh, ooh, i made this incredible story um listen go go to tim ferris's podcast check out the david mazel interview it's one of one of the best things you should just listen to the way he describes kevin feige before promoting him like the moniker he had for him as i'm not gonna give it away here but it's incredible like and now he's running the studio but I so yeah. wh- why then does Kevin Feige get all the credit for the MCU if it's really this guy? Well, Kevin Feige gets credit be- for just what he's turned it into. Like, like this guy yeah. was in charge of the first few films leading up to it. Was, it was his plan to get two Avengers. So obviously, mm-hmm. they've gone way past Avengers to Avengers two, and then to the Infinity War saga and all of that. Uh, so obviously he's built it into something even bigger and greater. 
and has done a lot more press and has got, put himself out there. This guy just wasn't interested in that. And he hmm. got it to a point and then he moved on. He moved on pretty quickly after getting it all set up and going. He was like, I'm ready for a new challenge. So he's not at Marvel anymore. No, he's not. He's moved on to other things. Um, he did the huh. Angry Birds film. They had to do the same thing of raising their own capital to make that film. Uh, he's gone on to do other things. Uh, they didn't touch a ton on past Marvel in the interview. They tease that they're going to have a second follow-up interview on it. Um, but it's just a fascinating story and he gives tons of credit where credit's due. He's not just sitting there trying to rewrite history. He's just like, Hey, just wanted to tell people what's actually happening is kind of been left behind in, in, in the history of this whole thing and feel like I was a big part, big part of it. That's really okay. You've convinced me. I will, I will just fast forward through any questions he puts up and then get to the, get to the real thing. (laughs) It's some great stories. No, it it is intriguing. You know, I think there is a lot of we get um, we get wrapped up in the kind of the movie magic of it all. But there's of also course. just kind of nitty gritty nuts and bolts behind it all that if it doesn't happen, like at the end of the day, it is a business. It's show mm-hmm. business. Um, it's so, millions no, of dollars. It's hundreds I, of millions of dollars and now billions like the you have to have the, yeah. the business side squared away or else it's just not going to work. So this is. I, I encourage everybody to go check out Tim Ferriss, the Tim Ferriss show, and go look for the David Maisel interview because it's pretty stinking awesome. 